to my channel if you're new here my name is Markia and if you're not new oh my god you've been sticking with me for so long thank you so much I know I've been missing for over a year I think the last video I recorded was the um, postpartum hair loss and I'm so sorry guys life hit things been going on I've been dealing with stuff so I'm sorry but I am back and I promise you I'm back so this channel is gonna be a little bit different just a little bit different because I'm a mom and I'm a stay-at-home mom and I'm a wife so the content is gonna change it's gonna be a lot of vlogs of what me and Athena do all day and cleaning vlogs and stuff like that. So I hope you guys stay and like it. Sorry about the glow on my face. I just <laughs> did my skincare routine and I tried this new glow spray and it, <laughs> it got your girl glowing. It's like I got highlight on, but I don't got no makeup on y'all. It looks good. Let me take my glasses off so you can see. It looks good if i must say like hey <laughs> but yeah so today <clears throat> i am heating athena up some pizza because she wanted some pizza from last night she gonna eat then we going to go to the store and get her some diapers and wipes because if you don't know i don't know when this video is gonna come out but today is the 19th of october huggies recalled their diapers and wipes uh, fiberglass and the wipes and chemical burns from the diapers and I've been noticing that Dina been having rashes and she never had diaper rashes before and I thought it was from the antibiotics that she was taking for her ear infection um, so we stopped giving it to her and she's still getting the rashes so I believe it's the Huggies we used to use Honest diapers but we switched to Huggies because Honest is expensive and we only can get it at Target here and Target is on the other side of town from where I live but it look like we're gonna have to switch back to honest. <laughs> so the goal is to go to Target today. We shall see, cause like I said, it's on the other side of town. But yes, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I don't want this intro to be too long. And Athena's hungry, if you guys can hear her. Athena, you wanna say hi? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Say hi. That's Athena. Say, I turned two yesterday. You turned two? Yeah. Yeah? Excuse the towel back there. Like, the dishwasher started sizzing out. Of, you know, suds came out. But, yeah. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Say hi. 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 Hey you guys, so we are at Walmart. What are we doing, Mama? Say shopping. 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 Hi. <laughs> Good job. So this is what we got so far. Mm -hmm. I will definitely do a haul when we get in the house. And there's something on the camera, so hold up. I'll be back. Hey you guys, so I am at Starbucks now. We just left Walmart. I couldn't really film in Walmart because I just felt like people was watching me and following me. I just don't like that. So I've showed y'all a little bit. I showed y'all in Walmart, but we just left Walmart. I'm at Starbucks getting me some Starbucks. And when we get home, I will show you guys what I got. Athena's back there eating Cheetos. This line is long, y'all. So, I want to know, in the comments below, what is your Starbucks order? I usually, during the fall, I used to get, usually get a pumpkin spice latte with one pump of caramel and almond milk. But now, my body's like really sensitive to uh, caffeine. So every drink I get, I have to get decaf. So I think I'm gonna get a decaf pumpkin spice latte. And I've been like watching my sugar intake and calories and stuff like that. So I might not get the extra caramel. 
But we shall see. This guy is out here smoking and he's looking at me while I'm talking to the camera. So. But yeah, so I wanted to try this drink I seen online. It looks good, but I don't know. I just like my regular. I'm not really like the type of person that try new things. I need to get out of that though. Let's see. Okay, so it's called a Snickerdoodle Cold Brew. And it's 90 calories, 4.5 grams of fat, 12 grams of carbs, 0.5 grams of protein. It's a grande cold brew with one or two pumps of sugar-free cinnamon dolce. Um, one cup of white mocha and white cream. And technically, this is what I should be ordering because it's not a lot of calories in it, but you know, I want the pumpkin. Yeah, I'm sorry the, the camera is shaking. I'm just now noticing that. I remember I will put the picture on the screen so you guys can see it if you guys want to try that drink. But yeah, you guys, I'm so excited to be back filming. It's been so long. I feel like I don't know what to do, what to say, how to act. It's like I'm starting all over, which is fine. Which is fine. We got this. But. <clears throat> I will catch you guys when we get up to the drive-thru. I mean, at the drive-thru. This line is long. All right, bye. Hey, welcome to Travis. Can I get on here? Yes, hi, can I get a tall decaf pumpkin spice latte? Are we getting something hot for you? Yes. Anything else? With almond milk. You want and, cream? Yes. And can I get um the pumpkin uh, cold foam on top? Okay, just eat them. I'm just gonna melt on top of that pot. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. Okay, anything else? That'll be it. All right, so I'm thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys. So we are back home, and I got you. Don't look at my mom. I got y'all balanced on the Keurig. All right, you wanna say hi to the camera? Say hi. show you guys what I got at Walmart okay Athena got some Cheetos this is her iPad that I put in there in her cup all right so I got some Dove soap I love Dove I will only use Dove bar soap other soaps I do not like I will use caress if I have to but mm, but Dove is my favorite so I got the pink flavor, flavor the pink scent with deep moisture and it's one of my favorite scents and the cucumber one is my one of my favorites I had got this honey garlic seasoning if you guys haven't tried this try it it's so good we had already ran out so good also got some onion powder some garlic powder and some paper plates. I hate doing dishes, even though we have a dishwasher. I still hate doing dishes. So do Ryan. And I, she brought me this. She wanted me to open it, but I got some new toothbrushes. It's time to change our toothbrushes. I don't know how many times do you guys change your toothbrushes. Like I at least change it once every one or two months. I cannot use the same toothbrush for a long time. I don't even know how long you're supposed to keep your toothbrush. Matter of fact, let me ask Google. Hey Google, when should you change your toothbrush? Every three to four months. According to Aquafresh, the average person should be swapping out for a new toothbrush every three to four months. Explains Drive. Okay, Google, stop. Okay, Google, stop. Every three to four months. And I change it every one to two months. <laughs> so, yeah, make sure you guys change it too. The thing I got is I got some crock pot liners. I hate cleaning my crock pot out. It's just time consuming. Once again, I don't like dishes, washing dishes. But I like to cook. I got some cheese crackers. 
I got some toothpaste. I use this toothpaste. Ryan used Colgate, I think, or Crest, one of them. My teeth is like really sensitive, so I have to use that. No, mama, you can't open that, baby. I got me and Athena a lemon pie to share because I've been having a sweet tooth like crazy. I got me some hand soap for my bathroom. And this is the cherry blossom. And I got me some more deodorant. Once again, duh. Athena, baby. No, mama. Is that here? That is for Ryan. Hold on, baby. He loves these Atkins bars, so I got him these, this one, these, and these. Sorry, see. Wait, baby, don't open it, okay? Next bag, which is the last bag, I got some trash bags because we ran out of trash bags. And I'm trying the Fabuloso scent and Arm and Hammer. Hopefully these work. I got some aluminum foil. I got the non-stick. First time trying this, this one. Excuse my daughter, she's cranky. She's tired. And I got this candle warmer. Heard good things about it. So I'm gonna try this out because I hate lightening the candle because I have a toddler and I don't want her getting into it. I don't want the spark on her or nothing like that. So I'm gonna try this. It's supposed to extend candle life, fragrance without flame, simple to use and no soot residue. So I will let y'all guys know how well this works. I'm trying to find somewhere to put this about my house. Y'all, I need to clean up, so y'all gonna be getting a, a cleaning vlog. It might be in this vlog. I also got this cranberry mandarin splash scented wax cubes. This stuff smells so good. Athena likes the smell of it too, but I'll be trying to tell her you can't play with that. It's not candy, baby. You can't play with it. So last thing, well not the last thing. In the car, I got some ginger ale and some water. I'm wait till Ron get home so he can get that out the car. It's kind of hard getting big things out the car when you have a toddler. But the last thing I got is, no my mommy though, is this stuff. This Light Saw Laundry Sanitizer. If you guys have not tried this, try it. Not only does it smell amazing, it leaves your clothes soft and it sanitizes your clothes. Um, this came out during the pandemic last year. Well, we're still in the pandemic. But this came out during COVID and I seen it and I was like, ooh, let me try this because when we go out to the stores, we take our clothes off, put in the washing machine and we can sanitize it also. And this works wonders. Well, at least I think it works wonders. <laughs> but yes, try this, it's amazing. But I am going to go because little mama is crying. You hungry? Yeah. Yeah. She's hungry. And she needs to take a nap. You wanna say bye? Yeah. Say bye. You about to eat? Yes, yeah? okay. Bye y'all. Hey you guys, so today's another day. Today is Thursday. And this is gonna be a weekly vlog, if I didn't say that already. But we are at the doctor's because little mama is sick. She been coughing really bad to the point that, you know when you cough so hard that you throw up or whatnot. She been having a little great fever, runny nose. I <sighs> just pray it's not the vid, you know what I mean? So, Dina, say hi, Bethany. Say hi. Hi. What attitude? You not gonna say hi? Oh, that's our doctor, y'all gotta go. Hello. 
Tell the camera. Tell the camera. Tell the camera. No! So I just got a COVID test and I'm upset. Mm-hmm. Tell them. Did it hurt? Did it hurt? Yeah. You did good, like a big girl. High five. Okay. You gonna show them how you put chapstick on? Put chapstick on. Put chapstick on daddy. <laughs> good job. Thank you, baby. Put some on you. You don't want no more? Okay, say bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Good morning, you guys. So as you have to see, it is the next day. I was not able to, you wanna say hi? No. What's wrong? Hold on, I'll be back. All right, you guys. So the last time we spoke, it was at Athena's doctor's appointment, I believe. Um, She don't have the flu. She don't have pneumonia. She don't have RSV. She don't have COVID, thank God. It's just a cold, they said. Um, it's a horrible cold. That's why I haven't talked to you guys since then because she's been, if you can hear her, kinda out of it, coughing her brains out and nose running and sneezing and just not feeling good. And then last night, she did not want to sleep. She was up to like one o'clock in the morning. She was up to like one o'clock in the morning last night. Um, so I'm exhausted. So my husband and I just decided that we are going to move her party back until next week. Um, Weekend, but well, it's not a party, it's just a get together uh, because we don't want her sneezing and coughing in other people's faces, um, especially her cousin Kai face. And plus, when I'm sick, I don't want people around me, and she just you okay? Let it out. She's coughing so hard to where it's like something's coming out, but she don't want to let it out. But um, I gave her some Zarbies. You only can give them twice in 24 hours. One teaspoon for a two year old. So she got that this morning and she's gonna get it again tonight. But yeah, so we're gonna push that back until next weekend. Hopefully my baby feel better. I hate seeing her sick, y'all. So we just gonna sit in the house and hopefully let her, you know, get better. But I made my coffee decaf, because you know I told you guys. My body just can't take caffeine no more. It's okay, baby. I tried to do like a cute little uh, recording of me making my coffee, but I was doing it with one hand, so it didn't work, so I, <laughs> yeah, y'all guys, y'all saw it in the clips. But I will catch you guys later. Probably when I start cleaning. I was gonna go to the store today because I was gonna get the rest of her stuff, like the food and stuff I gotta cook. Um, but we gonna move that back because she don't feel good. 
You okay, Mama? Dina? You okay? It's okay, baby. Let it out, okay? Y'all see? But let me go. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, you guys. So, happy Saturday. Um, I look a mess. But, Athena is still sick. So, we are going to chill in the house this weekend. I mean, it's a good thing because we always be on the go every time. So, this is a good thing. So, I was going to do a clean with me in this video but I'm gonna do that for a separate video because <laughs> if you guys see that living room <laughs> Athena destroyed it so that's gonna be in a separate video and I'm sorry if this video is like all over the place it's just this week we've been dealing with Athena being sick and everything so <clears throat> next week fog is gonna be good um, I'm gonna end this video on Saturday I'm going to start doing from Sunday to Saturday, weekly vlog. So, this video is going to end today, and then I'm going to start a new one tomorrow. <clears throat> and I'm going to try to upload every Sunday. But I am going to be doing a cooking with me. Y'all want to cook with me? I'm like all over the place. <laughs> I haven't vlogged in forever, so y'all bear with me. I know this video is going to be rocky. But, um... I'm gonna make some baked mac and cheese, some chicken, and I don't know what else. Probably some Brussels sprouts or something like that. So this is the chicken that I got. And I just defrosted, it, so I got drumsticks. And I'm going to marinate it in this bowl for a few, for like an hour and a half. I'm gonna marinate for like an hour and a half, put in the refrigerator. Um, guys, let me know in the comments below. Do you guys clean y'all chicken? I know this is a thing that's going around and it's been going around for a while. And I know it's a black person thing. Um, <clears throat> I clean my chicken. And I know they say studies show you're not supposed to clean your chicken because you spread in the uh, germs and it can cause. Um, flat salmonella or whatnot but my mom always taught me to clean the sink and the counters and everything after you clean your chicken so yes I still clean my chicken it's just a must I cannot not clean my chicken <laughs> if that sound right like I have to clean my chicken but um let me know in the comments below if you clean your chicken or not yes the heat when you cook it, it cleans it and purify it. I know that. So I'm not judging if you don't clean your chicken. I understand. Do you? I just want to know. So let's get this conversation started in the comments below, you guys. So I've taken my seasoning out the counter, you guys. Out the counter. Out the cabinet. <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys what I season my chicken with in a minute. Oh, I don't have Worcestershire sauce. I don't have liquid smoke, so... That kind of messed me up a little bit, but that's okay. All right, sorry, it's a mosquito in here. Let me show you guys what I use, well, what I'm using today to marinate my chicken, okay? So I usually use olive oil, but we're gonna use a little bit of vegetable oil, ginger, garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of seasoning salt, this honey garlic, basil, parsley, A little bit of honey a little bit of rice vinegar some star anise 
in some black mint garlic. So let me clean the chicken off, get the chicken, and um, I'll be back with you. All right, y'all, I am back. And once again, I need a freaking tripod because you guys cannot see the chicken. But I got the chicken in the bowl. I'm gonna just show y'all me pouring stuff in there. So I'm gonna start with this. This is the chicken, and I'm gonna cover it with saran wrap, and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for about an hour and a half. And when I come back, we are going to make baked mac and cheese and finish the chicken for dinner. All right, see you guys in a minute. All right, you guys, I am back. I don't know, I was like, all right, you guys. All right, you guys. <laughs> I am back, and I am about to make the bake mac and cheese right now I am trying to get the water to boil and do you guys add salt in your water I do you should add salt in your water Gordon Ramsay said add salt in your water add salt in your water so I'm gonna sprinkle some salt in there and I am waiting for it to boil our stove is just stupid y'all it's gonna take forever so once that's boiled, I'm gonna put, oh. So once that's boiled, I'm going to put the mac and cheese on it. So once that is boiled, I'm going to put the elbow noodles in there so it can cook. Okay guys, so I put my elbow noodles in there, but I feel like it's not enough, so. I went in my pantry and got some more out and I poured some more in there. And I'm, I got a feeling that I'm going to regret this. I'm gonna end up making way too much mac and cheese like I always do. Yes, I'm stirring it occasionally just to make sure it don't stick. I hate it when it sticks to the bottom of the pan. Hey, babe, you wanna say hi to my channel? Oh my <laughs> so, I already got the eggs, two eggs in the bowl. I'm gonna scramble it a little bit. It's for the macaroni and cheese. I already got that set to the side. All right, so I'm about to cook the chicken. You guys, when I put the chicken in the refrigerator to marinate, I had realized that I forgot to put star anise in there. I didn't put it in there. I didn't feel like taking it back out. But this is the chicken. And we're gonna put it in the air fryer. 
And I'm going to use the chicken setting that's on the air fryer. Let me get my tongs, cause I do not like touching chicken. I do not like touching chicken. So, I'm gonna take a few pieces of chicken and put it in the air fryer. want to add more seasoning on it you can like this one right here I feel like it's missing a little bit of seasoning so I'm gonna add some more seasoning on it I put a little bit too much seasoning on. but just to make sure and then I'm going to put it in the air fryer Stick this in the fire. Oh. Oh. Chicken, 20 minutes, and let it go. And while that is cooking, I'm still occasionally stirring this macaroni because I hate it when it gets stuck to the bottom of the pan. Don't nobody want to taste that burntness in macaron baked macaroni and cheese. So make sure you stir occasionally just to make sure it's not sticking okay y'all so now that I got y'all on the carry <laughs> I need to try pie so bad so I'm about to cut up my cheese because the elbow noodles is almost done you want it to get soft not mushy but soft so we got gouda cheese and two Dark cheddar, and we got some shredded cheese also. So I'm just gonna slice these up to like small bits and put it in the bowl. So when I'm ready to melt to melt it, it can be easier to melt. And I'm also using something different this time. I I am gonna be using oat milk extra creamy only because last time I used whole milk and then I used 2% milk we all was over here dying you know lactose tolerance stomach pains so I'm gonna try oat milk and see how that works hopefully it's still everything still tastes good hopefully everything still tastes good and yeah I will show you guys the cheese and everything when I drain the noodles and get ready to melt the cheese. Okay. Okay, so now I'm about to melt the cheese. I took the um that on mosquito. I took the noodles out the pot and I'm letting it drain. What is wrong? Okay, so my daughter is it's acting up. So, I'm about to melt the cheese. I'm gonna put a half a cup of milk in there in the cheese and stir it until it's melted. And I'll be back, cause yeah, little one. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and put a cup and a half of yeah. oat milk in here. And I am melting the cheese. And it looks, it looks good, y'all. It looks good. <laughs> While you are doing that, you want to make sure your oven is being heated at 375. And I got my second batch of chicken in there. First batch is done. If you want, you can put barbecue sauce on here, whatever sauce you want to put on there, or you can leave it plain, whatever you want. And little mama, say hi. Ooh. 
Attitude. <laughs> but yeah, I only got a little bit more chicken left and I'm melting this. Then I'll add the noodles in there and then the eggs and the butter. And some more cheese. Then I will put it in the oven. All right, you guys. So I put my mac and cheese in this and I put some shredded cheese on top and then I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how you like your macaroni and cheese, not too hard. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, make sure you season your macaroni and cheese. Season it, please. Season it, season it, season it. <laughs> but like always, I made too much, so. <laughs> yeah, I got this big old casserole full of mac and cheese. That I'm about to put in the oven, so I'm gonna have to call my mom, my brother, and sister law and be like, hey, come get some mac and cheese because we're not gonna eat all this. So I will catch you guys when I take it out the oven. Alright, you guys, the first one is out. I had to leave the other one in a little bit longer because I like it brown on the top. But this is how it looks. But I did mess up, you guys. I forgot to put butter in there, but Phil. It's still gonna taste fine. But here you go, y'all. And this is dinner. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that cook with me. And it's weekly vlog. But I'm gonna close this week out. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So you can be updated when I upload in that little bell. And comment below. What, you, what want? you want to see me cook next time because this is going to be a thing I do. But alright you guys, bye. Yeah.